Hey, how are you? Okay, so we're going to do a lesson on Crazy Train on bass. Um, so the song's in uh, the key of F sharp minor. When we get to the solo section, we'll go over all that part. So there's five sections to the whole song. So we have our intro part. So I'm starting on F sharp, second fret on your E string, doing that twice. Then we have an open A string, then an E string, and then back to F sharp. Then we go to D, which is the fifth fret on the A string. Open E, back to F sharp, and then A, open E, F sharp. And then we repeat that cycle again. The riff kicks in, we play the same thing. Now the last bar of the riff, we're gonna go up to our second octave E, which is on the seventh fret of the A string instead of the open E. So I'll just show you, I'll play out the intro real quick. F sharp, A, E, then D, E, F sharp, then A, E, then D, E, back in there. And now we're in the verse section. So we're starting on our open A string. One, two, three, four, five, and. So now I'm walking down these notes. Seventh fret on your D string is your A octave. So we're going A, 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 A. Then A flat. F sharp, then E. Okay, so seven, six, four, two. All on the on the D string. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and. So I'm using my open A string in between there. So it's going to go in between each of those notes. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So you're hitting your A string five times before you start your run. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, two. Crazy. I'm not going to sing it because I can't sing. Okay, so then, um, so that's the verse section. Then we have the pre-chorus. Okay, so we have F sharp, then open E, back to F sharp. One, and two, three, and four. So we're gonna play F sharp again and then go to open E again. Then we go to our D note, which is the fifth fret on the A string. So we got one and two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Then we got a fill. Open E, F sharp, G sharp. So that's open, two, four on the E string. Then you can do one of two things. You can go to your open A because that's the next note we need, or you can hit your A there, which is part of that F sharp minor scale I was talking about earlier. So we got one and two, three and four. One and two, three, four and one. One and 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 and. So that fills that part. One.
that again. Then that brings us to the chorus. Okay, two halves of the chorus. The first one is open A. I'm going off of the rails. So A, G sharp, fourth fret, E. Then F sharp, second fret, E. Open E string after that. I'm going off of the rails. So you can match the syllables to that, right? Going off of the rails on a crazy. <clears throat> then we got. F sharp and the octave. So second fret E string, fourth fret D string. So you have one and so then you're gonna start hitting your octaves. One and two and three, four and five and six and seven and eight and we're gonna play them fast, right? So we got going off of the rails on a crazy train. that sentence again I'm going off of the rails on a crazy train then we got F sharp E F sharp <coughs> uh, F sharp E F sharp then you can hear F sharp one more time go to G A or open A then back down F sharp, go to open E, F sharp to G sharp, okay, so going off of, sorry, going off of the rails on a crazy train, okay, so so far we have this, going off of the rails on a crazy train, sharp at the end to E, D, and then E. So I'll play out the pre-chorus and the chorus so you can see how it fits together. solo section. So we go through the verse, pre-chorus, chorus one more time, then it goes back to the beginning. Back to the beginning, F sharp, A, E, F sharp, D, E, F sharp, A, E, Okay, so the F-sharp minor scale I was talking about earlier, let's go over the notes real quick. A little bit of theory, but it's important because it'll help you with the song. F-sharp. Now the pattern is going to be fingers, each finger gets a home. So we have a 4 fret spread here. F-sharp is our 2nd fret, G-sharp is our 3rd, or 4th fret, sorry. 5th fret is an A, so we have F-sharp, G-sharp, A. Then we move down to the next string. There's a B note, 2nd fret on the A string. <clears throat> Excuse me, B, C sharp. B and C don't are right beside each other because B doesn't have a sharp. So we have B, C sharp, which is on the fourth fret, so that's finger number three. Then D. So we have one, three, four, one, three, four, and then we finish it off with one, three, which is E on the second fret on the D string, and then F sharp again. Back to our octave. Our scales start on a note and then end on the same note. So F sharp is on the fourth fret. Now this F sharp note is the same as this. It's the second octave F sharp note. We're gonna play it on the ninth fret of the D string, or sorry, of the A string. So we got. So we're running down the scale. So 
F sharp, one and a. So now we're using sixteenth notes. One and a two and a three and a four, four and we switch to eighth notes there. So I'm running down my scale. So we got F sharp, E, D, C sharp, and B. Those are all on the A string. Seventh, sorry, ninth fret, seventh fret, fifth fret, fourth fret. Second fret. So all we've done is taken those notes and stretched them into a line instead of pattern. Make sense? So we got one and a two and a three and a four and one and a two and a three and a four and so we're using our notes to kind of jump to the next one. So one and a two and a three and a four E. E note is the the fourth note. One and a two and a three and a four and D. One and a two and a three and a four and C sharp is the end. So we got one and a two and a three and a four and one and a two and a three and a four and one and a two and a three. Then we're going to go B. One and a two and a three. So A is going to get the three this time because we're shortening that little bar. Sorry, coming from the C sharp. Um, one and a two and a three and a four and one and a two and a three and a four and one and a two and a three and a four and. So we're gonna hit an A. You can either play it there. So we got F sharp, E D, C sharp, B, A, G sharp. F sharp. One and a two and a three and a four and one and a two and a three and a four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and so we end off on the F sharp. Except for the fourth line, we're gonna go to open E instead. So it's gonna this is the fourth line. And then back to that. I love that intro. So I'll play the solo section here for you so you can see. That's it, man. It's all the parts. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, guys.